वेलकम टू दी एन स्कूल बाय एन सी डी एक्स प्रगति का सॉलिड एक्सचेंज हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस एन स्कूल ट्यूटोरियल नंबर वन वी हैव गेन द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन द कमोडिटीज देयर डेफिनेशन टाइप्स ऑफ कमोडिटीज कमोडिटीज इन यूर लाइफ सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ नाउ गोइंग फर्दर इन दिस एन स्कूल ट्यूटोरियल नंबर टू विल अंडरस्टैंड द टाइप ऑफ कमोडिटी मार्केट्स द फिजिकल मार्केट और कैश एंड कैरी मार्केट सो लेट्स बिगिन Let's do a quick recap of the concepts learned in the first tutorial. So here's a quick refresher on what is a commodity. A commodity refers to any good or article that can be used for commerce that is buying and selling. As defined by the CBOT that is the Chicago Board of Trade, an article of commerce or a product that can be used for commerce is a commodity. Further simplified to be products traded on an authorized commodity exchange are commodities. So now let's refresh ourselves on the classification of commodities. Commodities could be broadly classified into two types, that is, hard commodities and the soft commodities. Hard commodities are typically mined from the ground or taken from other natural resources, for example, gold, oil, aluminium. In many cases initial products are refined into further commodities for example oil is refined into gasoline on the other hand soft commodities are typically grown while hard commodities are typically mined or extracted for example orange juice corn wheat lean hogs coffee sugar and cocoa beans are all such examples of soft commodities trading in commodities history commodities have been bartered or bought and sold since ages it is not a new phenomenon the commodities market are one of the oldest prevailing markets in the human history it would not be incorrect to state that commodity trading is as old as the human civilization Derivatives trading started off in commodities with the earliest records being traced back to the 17th century when rice futures were traded in Japan. Over the centuries, commodity trading has undergone tremendous changes from the barter system to spot markets to futures markets. Let us look into this in details. Commodity markets Commodity market is a place where trading in commodities takes place. It is similar to an equity market but instead of buying or selling shares one buys or sells commodities. The commodities market exists in two distinct forms. Number 1 is the over the counter OTC market also known as cash and carry market, the physical market or spot market. The next one is the exchange based market. Let's take a step back now. First, let us understand the value chain and physical agricultural commodity market structure in the next slide. Commodity value chain. A value chain comprises of all activities and services undertaken along a commodity chain. that is right from the primary producer to the final consumer as products move from one stage of the value chain to another value gets added a typical value chain includes producers assemblers traders processors distributors retailers and of course the consumers let's take a look at this illustration Producers use inputs such as seeds, fertilizers, labor and implements them to produce raw materials. Assemblers and traders purchase these materials in bulk quantity. Processors or manufacturers then convert these raw materials into finished goods. These goods are then procured by distributors who are generally wholesalers. From there on the goods reach consumers through the retail channel. 
Now let us understand the physical agricultural commodity market structure. The major participants of this market are producers, traders and brokers, processors, distributors, packagers, wholesalers and retailers. Traders, brokers and commission agents act as intermediaries, connecting other participants and various segments of the value chain. The relationship between various participants and the structure of the market is as illustrated below. Now let us understand the OTC market or physical market. In this market, the seller agrees to deliver the commodity and the buyer agrees to buy the commodity and make the payment. Almost all the trading that takes place in these markets is delivery based. Physical markets for commodities deal in either cash, spot contract or in forwards. Cash transactions in the physical market involve two types of contracts that require number one, immediate delivery in the spot market, spot contract, and the next one, delivery of a specific commodity to the buyer sometime in the future, forward contract. Now let us understand the difference between these two, but for that we first need to understand what a market transaction entails. There are three processes involved in any market transaction. Number one, trading. In the trading process, the buyer with the demand for the product interacts with the seller supplying the product. The buyer and the seller negotiate and arrive at an agreement regarding quantity, quality and price. The next one is clearing. In the clearing process, the buyer and the seller decide on the quantum of goods and the amount of cash that would be exchanged among them. The next one is settlement. The actual exchange happens in the settlement process. Now let's understand features of the physical commodity markets in India. In India, agricultural commodities are traded in wholesale markets called mandis, which set the price of a commodity. Setting up mandis. Mandis can be set up only with the permission of the respective state government. Each state has a state agriculture marketing board which sets up mandi boards downstream at the district level which give permission to set up mandis. After the mandi is set up, every mandi builds one or more yards with platforms. Farmers sell their produce at these yards to licensed traders who in turn sell it to the wholesale dealers. Products. Every Mandi trades in a set of primary commodities specific to the region and also in a set of non-primary commodities. The farmer's produce is first weighed and certified by the Mandi inspector in terms of type and quantity. Generally, once the produce is certified and recorded at a particular Mandi, Sometimes for a fee, it has free access to other mandis in the district as well. A farmer's ability to access more than one mandi to get the best price depends upon various factors, primarily such as transportation cost, packaging cost and the cost of storage.
Now let's look at the participants. Key market participants are farmers, licensed traders, brokers and wholesale dealers. Traders and brokers are the intermediaries between the farmers, wholesale dealers and mill owners. Arthiyas are important intermediaries who act as both a commission agent and as a financier to the farmers. The Mandi Board Committee allots specific yards to each of the Arthiyas and the farmers unload their grains in these yards. The Arthiyas get the grains weighed and packed and help to organize the auction. For these services, they are paid dami or a commission fee. Now let's understand the aspects of trading. There are two types of trading. In the first type, the farmer approaches the trader for a price quote. When they mutually agree on a price, the produce is considered to be sold to the trader. In the second type, is called an outcry auction for which there is a designated time at each Monday. The auction is done in sequence, typically going from a lot with a fixed grade to the next. Pricing There is no real-time price dissemination at Mondays. A new price is set at each auction. Prices are collected only at the time of clearing. There is also a wide gap between the farm gate price and the consumer price at the retail end. Now let's understand the clearing, delivery and settlement. Physical markets for commodities deal in either cash, spot contract or in forwards. Traders have to do the clearing immediately for cash contracts. Traders have to report both price and volumes on a daily basis. For spot contracts, delivery and payment has to be made within 11 working days. However, for forwards, delivery and payment can take place even after 11 working days. In the physical market, Contracts have to be settled with physical delivery of the commodities. However, under unforeseen circumstances when either party cannot give or take delivery of the commodities, the contract may be settled otherwise by mutual agreement. Now let's talk about regulation. The physical market in India is regulated through the state agricultural marketing boards. The regulatory framework is provided by the Agricultural Produce Marketing Acts, also known as APMC Acts of various states. Agricultural Produce Market Committees, that is APMCs, are set up to implement the provisions of the Act for regulating the marketing of agricultural produce for designated market areas within a state. While trade at the state level is regulated by the APMC Acts, the Essential Commodities Act of 1955 provides the legislative framework for regulation at the central level. The Essential Commodities Act is a central act that provides for the control of production, supply and distribution of and trade and commerce in commodities. Now let's take a look at the problems faced by the physical market. So the very first problem which physical markets in India face is the lack of proper price dissemination and transparency in the entire price discovery process. The markets are very fragmented, isolated and unorganized markets. 
there are restrictions on the interstate movement of goods. Lack of proper certification and standardization of commodities act as an impediment. Similarly, lack of proper warehousing and transportation facilities also act as an impediment. There is a long chain of intermediaries. There is a cartelization of intermediaries with multiple levels of intermediation. Processors are not allowed to buy directly from cultivators in most states, which is a major impediment. Excessive dependence on and consequent explo exploitation by the money lenders is again a huge roadblock. Distressed sales by farmers. Stock limits in the essential commodities. High volatility faced by the spot market prices act as an impediment too. States having different tax and tariff structures and regimes also add to the stress and the burden. So friends, that's all for now. Please look forward to the next tutorial on different type of commodity markets, the exchange based market. On the end, the N school by NCDX, Pragatika Solid Exchange. Thank you.